Weigo has just broken this 2000 resistance and more upside is projected. This is because gold and silver have been and still are considered money. As many countries engage in massive money printing through quantitative easing, which started in 2001 with the Bank of Japan, the US followed suit when they faced with subprime crisis in 2008. And with some success, this model has been adopted by many other countries. In today's tutorial, I will explain why money printing will lead to inflation and whether these countries will be able to reduce its pace in money printing. If your answer is not quite possible, then expect that the precious metal to continue to trend up. My name is Kon Hao. My work in this channel, as always, is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. And before we get into this subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. And let's get back to QE again. QE is where the central banks buy into their government debts and this creates liquidity for the market and funding for the government expenditure. But it also creates inflation over the longer term. When too much of it is printed, it causes a currency dilution. And QE is started by the Japanese and not the Americans. And now many countries that we could see here are getting into it. And it seems to me that there's no way of turning back. And why does money printing cause inflation? And let me use this example about cheesecake. Imagine you are the central bank and you have this closed economy, an economy of a population of 10 individuals. And today is Monday, you have printed 100 US dollars and you have 10 cheesecake to be distributed or to sell. And you evenly distributed this hundred dollars to 10 persons. So each of them get $10 and each of them buy one cheesecake. So every one of them got a cheesecake for $10. And the cost price for one cheesecake is $10. And now on Tuesday, you decided to print $1,000 and you evenly distributed this $1,000 to 10 persons. So each of them get 100 US dollars and each cheesecake today will cost 100 US dollars. And the inflation is that yesterday was $10 and today is 100 US dollars. The inflation is 10 times. And that's what happened when money is printed, it will cause inflation. But the reality is the money printed always isn't evenly distributed. And this cause maybe the hardworking ones or the smarter guys the top maybe 10 or 20 percent will get most of it in this case number one and number two got 500 dollars each and each cheesecake as each of them buy five of it it still costs 100 us dollars per cheesecake and the rest of the eight will not have their cheesecake they will feel hungry and angry because they couldn't afford the cheesecake at 100 us dollars is it too late to get into gold and let's Revisit the question that I posted earlier, whether these countries will be able to reduce its pace in money printing. And I believe we share the same answer, not quite possible. Meaning as long as money is printed, meeting its urgent needs all the time, currency will get diluted over time. And this will cause inflation to continue to trend up. In this relationship inflation hatch assets like the gold and silver will continue to trend up and in case you feel that you are chasing after something that's very high in price right now like gold silver seems like a good option to get in and when gold is moving up it always tell us that there's an underlying health issue in the financial market and gold and silver always move in tandem together with gold first go up first in financial crisis, followed by silver. And let's look at the 80s inflation that the gold went up about eight times and subsequently the silver went up 32 times. And in 08 crisis, the gold up went up seven times 
and subsequently the silver pick up and went up by 12 times. And now the gold is moving up and I believe is the inflation crisis or you can call it the bond crisis or the yield crisis and silver is starting to move up right now. And one of the key reasons why silver usually lag behind the gold, it is because of its weight. It is very heavy to have them physically. And I still remember in 2015, I bought $10,000 worth of gold. I did this exercise in the bank. I received a few teen pieces of gold. And then I crossed over the street. I went to a bullion house and I spent $10,000 to buy some silver. And to my surprise, this guy that sell me the silver brought me a bag of silver, which was very heavy. I have a hard time to bring to the car and I have a hard time to store it in my house. And it is because of this inconvenience during a crisis or an inflation crisis, investors will first turn to gold. And once gold gets a bit too pricey, investors will look at alternative and realizing that silver also command the same value, they will start to invest in silver. Is there a solution to this global inflation problems that we're all facing today? The amount of money printed must be at least match the production of goods and services rendered and not excessive printing. And with this responsible approach, we should be able to control inflation. For the time being, I still favor gold and silver. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to our channel. The market are always telling us on their next move. Feel free to leave me any comments below. I love to exchange ideas with you. Really happy that you stay through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.